I would say the past three weeks, our sales probably jumped about 35%. And I think a lot of that was due from tourism. And people in the tourism industry think it's only going to get better as the weather warms. Tourism during COVID was close to non-existent in parts of the state. COVID restrictions are still in the way of a full recovery, but businesses are optimistic about the summer. WCI3's Cole Hanke spoke with tourism leaders in Springfield about the outlook going forward. COVID all but shut down tourism industries across the state, which created major problems for cities like Springfield. The home of Abraham Lincoln relies on visitors to bolster the economy. Well, tourism is a $483 million industry. In 2020, we lost half of our value. And we'll see that in our restaurants, in our shopping, in our attractions. Uh, that $250 million that was lost in 2020 will come back in 21. Lincoln has always been the main attraction here in Springfield, but recently there's been a new headliner that stepped into the spotlight. The mass vaccination site on the state fairgrounds is drawing in people from not only across the state, but also outside of the state from Wisconsin, Missouri, and even Michigan. Um, there were a lot of people coming down to get vaccinated here at the fairgrounds, but we saw more people from Minnesota and Michigan this year than I probably have in the last 14 years. Scott Dahl with Visit Springfield says the average tourist will spend around $120 per day while in town. So it wasn't just the museums and hotels that were missing out. Other businesses like shops and restaurants were too. The increase seen over the last couple of weeks is much more than what anybody expected. We always see a little bit of a jump, but this was bigger. I think it was some pent up demand and people traveling, wanting to go out and spend money, whether it's hotels or whether it's restaurants or whether it's local shopping downtown. The industry is far from back to normal, though. Conventions and large scale gatherings are still completely shut down. Without those restrictions getting lifted, the city will continue to lose out on major tourism money. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Cole Hankey, WCIA3, your local news leader. Convention